Welcome to the HAD approved SDK iOS example application walkthrough. In this short video, I will show you how you can activate your HAD approved SDK iOS example after building it. Before you can begin, you need to have the following ready before running your HAD approved iOS example app. First, you need to know your HAD Active ID auth server instance. Next, you need to have an Active ID auth user created in your Active ID auth server instance. You can register your HAD approved device in your Active ID auth server self service portal. Another prerequisite is to ensure that your SDK sample application is already running. Please watch the import and build project walkthrough video to see how you can build it for the very first time. Finally, you should have a mobile device network connectivity to connect to your ActiveID auth server instance. We can begin the walkthrough by going to the self-service portal of ActiveID. Select Manual Activation. The app will ask for permissions to access your phone camera. Choose OK to give the example app access. During the registration process, it will begin synchronization and establish a session key. At the same time, it will create the security key container on the phone. This container is protected by a default pin password policy. This container access policy can be updated to use Touch ID or Face ID for strong authentication later. In the current step, I will just use a password. You can see the registration process continues, and when it completes, the asymmetric keys for HD approved are created. Let's go over the menu items. First, I will update my container access policy to use Touch ID. So whenever my shared and private keys are accessed, it will require my biometric credential. Next, let's look at how the iOS example app can be used to generate a one-time password through the Generate OTP option. A one-time password can be generated by using any of the three pre-generated OATH keys. In this scenario, I will choose an OTP using the OATH key based on event. To access the key, I need to present my Touch ID as per my updated container protection policy. That's pretty good. Now let's look at the keys available on my device. You can see my asymmetric keys for transaction signing, authentication, session keys, and my oath keys with each corresponding protection policy. The cool thing about HID approved SDK is that it allows us to create individual key access policies. Last but not least, Let's test the transaction signing capability of the sample app. Let's sign an operation from a channel. In this video, I will be using our SIBA demo portal to initiate the request. Once the request is submitted, the operational data is pushed to ActiveID. In this example, the sample app transaction information option will connect to the associated ActiveID auth server instance and correlate the unverified operation sent to the device. Once I choose transaction ID, I can unpack the operational data and verify the integrity of the message. Finally, I can then choose to accept, deny, or report the request. When I accept the request, the app will sign the response back using the keys protected by my HID approved container to complete the transaction signing operation. And that's it. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the video.